Welcome to Data Project Hub. In today's video, we will solve a tricky SQL interview question. So the question is, obtain the output in the required format. So this is the question. So we have to analyze the input and the output, compare the input table with the output result, and we have to write a query to get the output in the required format. So for that, we have created a table which is the subject info table. Let me execute this and we will see the schema. So we have two column. First column is class and the second column is subject. Now let us go and see what is the expected output and then how we will obtain the expected output. So here is the expected output I have created in Excel and this is the exact same input table which we saw in SSMS. Now let us compare the input table with the expected output table and see what is the relationship between the input and output. So we have two columns. The first column is class and second column is subject. At the first glance we can see that this is something like a pivot operation. But there is one more condition that was given in the question that is we should not be using any pivot to solve the question and using pivot also we will not be getting the exact result so without using pivot function we will have to write a query to get the output in the required format now let us compare the input table with the output table so we have two class within the class column that is a and b so the same two records can be found in the expected output table that is a and b now corresponding to that we have created five different columns that is subject 1, subject 2, subject 3, subject 4 and subject 5. And with respect to class and subject, we have to populate the value of subject that is either max, English, social or whichever subject is corresponding to that class, we have to populate in the expected output table. But there is also one specific order in which we have to populate the output table. So when we compare the table, class A, subject max so this is the first record then taking a look at the class b and subject corresponding to that subject one we can see that it is social so where can we find social so when we go through the table here we can find one social but there is another record which is corresponding to class b and the subject is social here the class is a so this is not the record that we are going to look so this is the record that we are going to look so social and max should be the subject one so first record corresponding to class a and last record corresponding to class b so that is the first subject subject one and coming to subject two we can see that class a social so this will be the subject two corresponding to class a and the second subject is max class will be b and the subject will be max so this is the subject corresponding to subject two and class B so it is kind of reverse order so we have to populate the class A row such that the subject is appearing in ascending order and for class B we have to populate the subject such that the subject are in descending order with respect to the input table so that is the logic that we have to use in the given question also there is one more thing that we have to notice that is there is no specific order that is given in the input table so we have to assume an order or the order in which the table is available in the database and based on that we will have to write the query now let us go back to ssms and see how we can write the query to get the output in the required format so here we have the table which we already queried the same input table now we will start writing the close we will start with select star from subject table that is subject underscore info table and now we will write a row number function window function that is row underscore number open and close parenthesis over and the partition should be based on class partition by class let the column name be flag now execute this but we will get an error so that what we will do here is partition by now we will write the order by close order by we will open and close the parenthesis and inside the parenthesis we will specify select null so what this does is it will consider the order in which the table is provided or available in the database now execute this and we will get a result execute and we have a result where we have a new column that is a flag column now based on the flag column 
class column and subject column we are going to create five different additional columns so for that we will place the first query inside a CTE CTE1 as open and close parenthesis now we will write another select close select the column which we require are class second column will be subject third column will be flag and now we are going to write the next column which will be based on a case statement that is case when flag equal one then subject else null and end the case statement and this will be named as subject one as subject one similarly we will have to write four more case statement based on which we will get four additional column so we'll copy the case statement four times so this will be second case statement that is case when flag equal to two then subject else null end the case statement and the column name will be subject two similarly for flag three subject name will be three then for flag four subject will be named as subject four here the final column flag is five and subject name will be subject five that is the column name will be subject five and this is taken from ct1 ct1 now execute and we will get a result where we have five additional column along with the column which we have already that is class subject flag plus five additional column execute this and we have five additional column along with the already available columns now we will place this query inside a CTE that is a second CTE comma CTE2 as open and close parenthesis and now we will write a select and now we are going to make use of a aggregate function so class will be the first column and second column will be based on an aggregate function that is max of it can be either max min average or whatever aggregate function you want to use you can use you will get the same result so subject one as subject one that will be the first column second will be max of subject two as subject two that will be the second column third will be max of subject three as subject three similarly two more column that is corresponding to subject four and subject five so we will copy the same expression paste the expression now this column name will be subject four and max of subject four and the final column will be max of subject five and column name will be subject five and this is taken from CTE2 CTE2 and we will write a group by close group by class now execute and we will get the result that we were looking to obtain so this is the result now we have obtained let us compare the result with the expected output result that we initially saw so we will copy the result paste it here now compare the result so we have the same headers that is class subject one subject two subject three four and five and when we go through the record corresponding to the columns class will be class a and b subject will be max and social corresponding to subject one subject two social max then subject three physics statistics subject four biology chemistry subject five science and english so this is the result that we were looking to obtain and we got the exact same result so we obtained the result without using any pivot function or any other complex function using a simple window function that is the raw number function and the case statement and using one aggregate function we have obtained the result and this is one method of solving the query you can try solving this query in different method and if you have some interesting method please comment the method hope you like this video thanks for watching and subscribe for more thank you